got our mortar here and you're out in the last video and previously I've been mixing my mortar a bit too stiff so made that a bit more wetter and a bit more workable so cheers for that. So we've got our little workstation set up here, we've got a horrifically built wall in the background. Right we're going to set our corner blocks up on our profiles. So one on there, we we'll beat it through our line here, underneath and then you just want to mark where it's going to be tight, just hold it there and then give it a face. Doesn't need to be massively tight for this. And then what we're going to do is hold that in place and wrap it up bigger of eight around the corner block. Up. You can see that, like that. Snap it in place. And off you go, I'll do that a few times. That's right, eh? So there we go. Oing! That's what you want, that guitar twanging noise. <laughs> it's on that level line, we want 75 mil each one. So 75 is the first one. That's pretty much set in place. So 75, then we want 150. This is there. So on and so on. Same on the other side. Then we've got our gauge mark set up. Yeah, you come with some board, I'm going to try and not touch the line. There we go, and I'm going to start with an half because you were out on the last video. Don't straighten Nick on that first joint against the profile down. Just scrape off. When you're picking a brick up, thumb on the face and then a bit of mortar on the tip of your trowel. Give it a flatten. You want to down and up, a right and a left. Right, and then back over to the operating oh. table and pushing onto that brick. Scraping off with the tip of the trowel and then taking an excess mortar off. If you're not comfortable pushing it down with pressure on your hand, you've got weak wrists, <laughs> hey, uh, you can tap it into place with the butt end of your trowel. Get our next brick, butter in that, do the wiggle onto that one and push it into place. And what we're doing is, when we lay into the line, good tip what I got in the last video is, I'll just zoom in here. See that arrow on this brick here, which is just where two junctions of a face meet. So we've got an arrow here, that sharp arrow, and that one there. We're going to match that one with that one, and then we're going to match this arrow with the line. Easy. Butter the next brick with your excess marker. When trains are going fast and everything. There we go. Up against the profile. Down to the line. On your top. Okay, next gauge mark. Up to the bring the line up to that. Same with that. And then we're gonna lay our next bed of mortar now. The thing is, you only really want to really be thinking about the line, catching the line when you're working with somebody else really. It's not too bad if you're on your own because you've no one to annoy. Because the line is being used for a reference to laying your brick, isn't it? So if somebody else is dangling off the line, then it's making your life hard work, isn't it? Ooh, oh, ca caught it there. Alright. Profile down to the line. Aris to Aris, Aris to line. Cracking tip that. Looking again, little wiggle though. Gentle pressure down to the line, scraping off your excess. You need to get a bit on there, double butter. Give it a wiggle into place, even pressure throughout your brick. Shape rocks in your mortar. Mountain. Aris to line, Aris to Aris. Oh, that's really Okay, not looking too bad there. Next gauge back line, okay, which is our 225 line. 
Alright. We've got our bed started there after half an hour. Let's go around. No, it's just sloppy, it's everywhere. Alright, so. Task you, don't, don't, don't forget that. Don't be doing your brick on brick trick again. This, um, this is a tutorial as well, so it's like. It's not a speed contest, is it? I might do that in the future. It's not a penis measuring contest, is it really this? It's just a bit of an example on how to lay the bricks to the line. So, you see when I'm scraping the excess off to the tip of the trowel. Then you, your hand's relaxed. Your wrist is relaxed. Now I want to keep these these perps in line, see, so I might have to crept up there a little bit though. So you just need to wiggle it up there a bit. We want them perps always vertically plumb. So we're always looking down the edge of that brick. So we want it in line with this one. And this joint wants to be in the centre of this brick. So yeah, keep pushing onto that. Well it's setting already these bricks. This uh, mortar's really um, well, it's wet, but these bricks are like sponges. You don't have excuses on it. Right, next brick. Right, pushing up to that. Push down. Push out. Pushing onto that, make sure it squeezes out the mortar. Right, you need to reverse scrape, do it like that. What the bloody hell is going on here, man? Mm, that goes down in there. It's good, man. What we got? Easy pizza, isn't it? Lemon. Bom. Cracks me up where people in the comments and say like, oh you shouldn't touch the line, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, and they're just they're just hypocrites because I know that for a fact every bricklayer in the world has touched the line with the trowel or moved it at some point in their life. So all the points they, they point out in somebody else's work, they've done themselves. So like tapping the level as well, that's another cracker. Shouldn't tap your level, really. Like you've never done it in your life. Come on, mate, come on. Hit the brick at the side so it tips and twists and tilts. So, so trying our best here. No, it's impossible not to catch the line for me. If you need, scrape excess off. And jobs are good on if it is. So we're going to move our line up to our next mark, which you can't see. And the next one, this one, you can't see. We'll lay forwards on this one. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Jack, stop me doing that. <laughs> will to live me with this again. Contest, eh? That should be fun. Right, but for now we'll just concentrate on getting our bricks right and build some good fundamentals. Right, so I'm trying to lay less muck. More course after this. Get the gist of it, can't you? <laughs> Going to the line. 